Uh, did you guys just kind of regain a, a little bit of your defensive mentality at halftime uh, to hold them to 19 points, I think? Uh, 21, but eight. No, but um, you're right. I mean, I think uh, we set the stage for that by holding them to 21 in the second. Um, you know, we, we talked about, you know, being down, I think, 10 at the half, how we couldn't waste any time. We had to get right to it and guard and control the ball and uh, try to keep them out of our pain as much as possible. And uh, we had a, you know, obviously a tremendous third quarter that kind of made up for the first and uh, gave us a chance to uh, control the game a little bit down the stretch. Uh, two for you. Just is there any update on Bruce and what happened to him? Uh, I have no update. Uh, just took a fall and it's a little ginger. And then James Johnson with the double double for you guys. What, what do you see to him tonight? I mean, just great competitiveness, uh, playing for the team. Uh, spirit was great. Um, you know, obviously he can do some playmaking out there. He can attack the basket with his quickness and size, and he rebounded the ball for us. So. Huge effort from him and uh, and everyone. Everyone pitched in. It was not an easy game for us, and um, you know we had to find a way to to make it happen with a lot of kind of non-shooting lineups. To you know the paint is crowded, and it wasn't easy for James to get in there. So our guys, I thought, were great at finding solutions, continuing to play, driving the ball to the basket, uh, getting stops when needed, and just figuring out different ways to get it done. Coach, I know the repetition helps, but what are you seeing with the group that's out there on the floor when James is not out there? What kind of chemistry do you see building, and how do you see them finding ways to do what they need to do? Yeah, um, you know, I thought it was, uh, it was it was pretty good at, at, for moments in the second, but um, you know, tough in the in the fourth there to start the fourth. But uh, that's that's also a group out there in the fourth that I don't believe's ever played together. A lot of guys that haven't been, you know, on the floor much and. Uh, let alone together, so uh, it takes time. But you know, I thought they hung in there, um, fought in that fourth quarter stretch, and you know, they they definitely um, you know had the spirit that it took tonight to to compete and keep us in it at times. Hey, coach, uh, congratulations on the win. Thank you. Um, James has attempted at least 11 free throws in four of the last five games. I'm just wondering if you've seen any shift in the way he's being officiated, or is it just a byproduct of him being more aggressive and getting to his spots? I think both. Um, I do think, though, that the referees are starting to figure out, you know, what's still a foul, what's still a basketball foul, and what's a non-basketball play or, or whatever the mandate says. I think early it was difficult, you know, for them to, to know where the line was, and now, you know, he's such a such a... <laughs> you know, difficult guy to cover with his size, speed, quickness, ability to shoot over anyone from three that, you know, guys have to get too close to him. And then he's so strong that once he gets a, a slight angle on you or um, step on you, you know, it's it's almost impossible not to foul him because if you, if it's either get out of the way or you're going to draw contact. So, you know, that's what makes him brilliant is his ability to to penetrate, to take contact, and to you know be able to dictate what happens when that contact happens. Um, James said something the other day about how this is a group that kind of a broader question than just this game, but he's, he said something the other day about how this is a group that's still figuring out who it is, what it can be great at. Um, I'm curious from your perspective, do you see that as something that this team is still sort of working through and figuring out, and, and how do you evaluate how you're progressing in that direction. Yeah, I think we're it's very early for this group, you know, it's uh, 17 games um, You know, we've had we've had multiple guys injured as well. So we have 10 new players I think it takes time, you know, a lot of guys with different backgrounds different histories different habits trying to blend together um, You know, we, we started our training camp the first kind of week or two with Kyrie and and uh, you know a kind of a clear continuity path from last year and then you know, we had to change a lot of things. And so now we, we do have to explore how we can come together, find commonality, find ways to, um, to to be efficient and effective offensively. I think the defense has come for us, come earlier for us than the offense, but uh, the offense has got to be a project that we just stick with and have trust and faith and work at it together and, and evaluate it and constantly refine it. And hopefully it's a project that continues to show growth throughout the year. What level of appreciation do you have for what you guys have been able to do to this point? As you mentioned, it is super early in the season to be first in the Eastern Conference with the adversity that you mentioned already. Is there a certain level of appreciation that you have for the way yeah, that you guys have? Definitely, I feel proud of the guys. You know that they've 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 dealt with some things so far this year and continued to work for us. You know, 
to be where we are defensively, I think, has been a tribute to their effort and engagement and willingness. Um, and then offensively, you know, to be patient, to try to work out how you fit into this group, not how this group fits around you. And I think that that takes patience. It takes, you know, time. And uh, so for them to be, you know, to have 12 wins at this stage of the season amidst all that stuff, I think is uh, a credit to their professionalism and effort.